just been at a pine plantation and seen pine trees being grown and now you're following it right from the tree through to the end product. And this is Jason Guyver who is the project development manager here at Nelson Pine Indus Industries Limited. And we're right in the thick of where alveol is made. You can smell the pine in the air and see all the wood products around us. Jason, tell us how LVL is actually made. Okay, so um, you've been to the forest, so you've seen the logs being cut down. So we take those logs straight from the skid site, straight into the factory. Uh, we take them into our yard. They are then given a bath. We treat them very nicely. We give them a nice hot 80 degree centigrade bath. Uh, that warms up the wood, that's overnight. And then we take it through to our peeling line. Uh, the logs will go into the peeling line uh, and it's uh, with very sharp knives spun at high speed to get a veneer of timber coming out. So the veneer is a long thin sheet of timber. That's what we make the LVL with, which is the veneers in here. Um, even the core of that wood is actually then reused elsewhere in, in the plant. We use everything. Now, once, it's, once that's been cut, that then gets cut to size and sheets and graded for visual quality. And then we then, uh, we then heat that up and dry it and we grade it again for strength. And then we have bundles of different stacks of strength grade of veneer and that will then come into our LVL press. In the LVL press we put these veneers into different, into different positions depending on what grade and what recipe we're making of LVL. Yeah. Now LVL is a very engineered product so by putting different veneers in different places we can change its strength and its structure and the engineers can tell the engineers so that they can use that in different methods on different buildings. So what, what's the point in having all these layers and then presumably sticking them all together? So, so what we've done is we've taken a tree and we've then taken all the defects in the tree which are knot holes, bark, uh, which is splits in the tree. We've randomised those out throughout the board so we've now got proper engineering properties for it rather than having a whole wide range of properties for it. It now means the engineers can actually work and say this will do exactly this and that's what I've designed it to do. So they, they like it. So it's now made it the, basically the timber equivalent of steel. Right. And how do you stick all the layers together? Right. So once we go down the press, we've got our different parts there. So we then flood coat uh, a layer with, with uh, adhesive, a phenol formaldehyde adhesive. That then runs down through and then we've got a layout process where the different layers are then interlocked together, uh, which hopefully you'll see on the video, um, interlocked together. And then that goes into our press. Now our press is at, a, is at 10 bar. Now, 10 bar is the equivalent of 100 metres of seawater above your head. Wow. So it's quite a lot of pressure. We heat it up to 120 degrees C, so very hot. And so it then takes about five minutes to cure. And when it comes out the other end, that's now a piece of LVL. And you can see a piece behind us here, beautiful with all its layers. And you can imagine it's very strong. It is. So the piece here is actually, this is a, an offcut from a project we've just done for a new building uh, at Port Nelson and uh, the, the sheets behind this is going into uh, a building in, uh, in New Plymouth. And I hear a lot of schools are now using LVL. Yes, so we've got quite a few schools around the country where the new schools have been built and they've got portal frames and so rather than using steel they've used timber, it's warmer, it's uh, more aesthetically pleasing and it's gone in, yeah, some actually great designs out there so if you're lucky enough to be in one of those schools, good. <laughs> yeah, and nice and strong in the case of an earthquake. Hey, thanks Jason for showing us around. You're welcome. Thank you.